Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Welcome to the Jew Jets Show. This week, we play the Red Hot Houston Texans. Zach Wilson's also making his return to the lineup. So can the New York Jets pull off the upset? Let's talk about it. Zach Wilson is indeed back this week, and he has the 19th best defense in the NFL coming to town. And the interesting thing about the Texans' defense is that they are bottom 10 against the pass, but top 10 against the run. So is it a tale of two sides for this Texans defense? Not really, because while the Texans allow, you know, bottom 10 amount of yards per game against the pass, they are actually not that bad. You know, they currently are tied in second place with the least amount of passing touchdowns allowed with 12. Their run defense is also really, really good. You know, it's better than what, you know, the yards allowed per game gives them credit for. You know, they're top five in pretty much every major run defense category. They're allowing less than 100 yards per game, you know, against the run this season. I mean, the Texans' defense just has been definitely solid this year. Definitely better than 19th best unit in the NFL. Definitely top 15. I wouldn't say top 10, but it's definitely creeping in on that territory. But the thing about the Texans' defense is that they have allowed 400 yards in a game this season. They've allowed close to 40 points. They haven't been a perfect unit and they do have their flaws. But can the New York Jets expose those flaws is the main question. And I really don't think so. You know, looking at what the Texans have done against the run this season, looking at how we've ran the football this season, you can't expect the New York Jets to run the football. We're probably going to have less than 70 rushing yards this week. That's definitely a reasonable expectation. The Jets have just struggled at running the football pretty much since week five. So not expecting that to take off. And when it comes to passing the football, I mean, it's been a struggle for the Jets pretty much all season long. And really the only way the New York Jets can hope for offensive success in this game is for a Zach Wilson masterclass. It's for Zach Wilson to have another game like he had against the Kansas City Chiefs. And to be honest, I don't see Zach Wilson having that. I mean, he says his mindset heading into this game is that he's going to have more fun than he's ever had in an NFL game. This is going to be the most fun NFL game he's ever played in his career. But is that really going to happen? That's just his mindset. I mean, sure, if you believe in manifestation, then you're 100% riding the Zach Wilson 400-yard game train. But I'm not. I'm not really expecting too much from Zach Wilson in this one. He might have a nice throw here and there. He might throw it down the field more times than he usually does, but I'm not expecting a Zach Wilson masterclass. So yeah, I'm not expecting much from the offense in this game. But defensively, I am you know, expecting the New York Jets to have some type of success. While CJ Stroud is an absolute dog, I mean, this dude, despite being a rookie, leads the NFL in passing yards and some of the fewest amount of interceptions thrown and also has tossed 20 touchdowns. The New York Jets, definitely might give the best a C.J. Stroud. You know, he has some flaws to his game. He is a rookie. He's going to make those rookie mistakes. He also takes a high amount of sacks. He has 31 on the year, which is sixth most in the NFL. So the pressure is definitely going to get to C.J. Stroud. And with them also being down Tank Dell, losing some talent in the receiving room, with the Jets having one of the best secondaries in the NFL, I do think C.J. Stroud is going to have one of his worst ever NFL games in this one. And I do think the New York Jets are going to be able to continue this Texans passing attack. And running the football, Texans also really haven't had much success at doing it this year. They are the ninth worst rushing attack in the NFL, averaging less than 100 yards per game. And with the New York Jets doing a really good job stopping one of the best run defense, uh, excuse me, offenses in the NFL last week against the Atlanta Falcons, well, you know, they haven't done a great job at stopping the run all season long, but did a great job against the Falcons last week. And I think we can do a good job against the Texans this week. Week. And really, the game plan for the New York Jets this week overall, or just mainly on defense, you know, first getting to the defense just has to be containing the Texans' pass. And as I said, I believe the New York Jets are able to do that. Forcing them to run the football should be the goal for the New York Jets. And if we can do what we did against Atlanta last week, we should be able to stop this Texans' rushing attack. So then, it at this point, Texans probably should score no more than two touchdowns. You know, might have at least 17 points on the board, but definitely shouldn't score more than 20 if this is able to happen, or at least 20 offensive points. Who knows what the Jets' offense is going to do to the Texans' offense? You know, who knows how many gifts we're going to give them? It is Christmas time, so Zach Wilson might be in a giving mood, but if the Jets' offense can string together 
a few nice drives, if our defense can contain the pass, contain the run, then we can see the New York Jets win this football game. And as a matter of fact, this exact philosophy has worked against the Texans this season. You know, week eight, Texans, Panthers played. It was number one overall pick against number two overall pick in the draft. And CJ Stroud only had 140 passing yards. Texans really didn't do that great of a job running the football. Panthers offense didn't play amazing, but they were able to string together a few nice drives, which led to Eddie Pinero kicking a game-winning field goal and the Texans getting their first win on the season. So there definitely is a clear path to winning for the New York Jets. It's just what obstacles are going to be in the way for them and are we going to be able to overcome those obstacles? And based off of whatever we've seen this season, we're not gonna overcome those obstacles. I see the New York Jets losing another close game 14-10 to 10 to the Houston Texans. Comment down below your score prediction. Let me guys know what you think down below. But I'm your host, Jet, signing off and out. See you.